Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to split off your audio using aux tracks so you have more options during mixdown. I'm using Pro Tools 8, so let's check it out. So what you want to do if you're going to do this is create auxes. Shift Command N for new track. And I'm going to create three stereo auxes. Aux 1, I'm going to make the input bus 1 and 2. Aux 2, I'm going to make the bus 3 and 4. And Aux 3, the input, I'm going to make bus 5 and 6. Okay, so now I have three options where I can split off any track that I'd like and do some different effects on them. So I'm going to use this bass track I have here. So I'll play it first. Okay, you get the idea. So I'm going to go to the sends and I'm going to choose bus one and two. Okay. So on aux one with the input as bus one and two, I'm going to put an effect on it. So I'm going to put a flanger effect on it and I'm going to boost everything up just to exaggerate the effect. Okay. So let's hear this now. So it's cool. I get the effect and then I still have that main articulation from that dry sound. So I can mix it in together. And you know, if the flanger was right on that bass track, I would just hear that affected track with the flanger and I wouldn't be able to mix it in to taste. You know, I'd have to do more manipulation within the plugin itself instead of just raising or lowering the fader, which is much easier. So I'll sneak it in here. So, you know, you could just add like a little, you know, movement to a track without affecting that main track. So now I'm also going to split this bass track to bus three and four. So now I'm splitting it off two places, bus one and two and bus three and four, which is aux one and aux two. And on aux 2, I'll put a different effect on it. Okay, let's see. I'll put a lo-fi effect on it. Okay, so now let's hear this. Okay, not much there. Let me change a preset. Alien voice, okay. Okay, so now I'm able to, like I said before, mix in this effect with the main dry sound so you know that might be too much so i could just sneak it in there and i'll bring the other flanger in you know this could really help you out in the mix you know to, to just sneak some little effects in there so when people listen to your tracks, they're like, what is that in the background, you know? And with this is great because you could sneak those in. So it makes people listen more and hear different things going on. Okay, so I'll take this hi-hat here and I'll split this off to bus three and four with the lo-fi effect on it. And I'll send this also to bus five and six, which I'll put another effect on. Okay, I'm going to put a reverb on it. And I'm going to use a church with a long decay. All right. So there's the reverb. Now bring in the lo fi. So what's cool what's happening here is the hi-hat, hi when it hits the reverb, it still gets that nice crisp reverb, but then you could sneak in that lo-fi effect to give it some grit, you know, and some dirt in there. 